Hi there, I'm Nathan, and I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to walk you through GPT Sheets, a new piece of software that allows artificial intelligence to interact and supercharge the way you work with spreadsheets. All right, so there's three main functions I'd like to take you through, and the most exciting is allowing GPT, that is OpenAI's language model, to interact with spreadsheets, starting with Google Sheets, but then expanding out, hopefully, to Microsoft Excel, Airtable, etc. The way you interact with the software is through a Chrome extension or through the website at gptsheets.com. And over here, as one of the features, you can copy a snippet of code and using the Google's Apps Script tab here, you can paste it and it'll create a custom function that will allow you to call the GPT Sheets function. And you can now use this to call GPT Sheets using the data in your spreadsheets and have it generate the output inside of a cell. So as a good example, write the snappy product description for before using the following characteristics. C4. And then as that's loading, we can just drag this down and it'll autofill the output uh, using the data from the spreadsheet inside of the cell. So this is useful for writing emails, job postings, product descriptions, any piece of written text that you need to generate a lot of. But it can also be useful for things like standardizing emerging data or any other use case where artificial intelligence can give you a competitive advantage. The next use case for GPT Sheets is explaining formulas. So I'm on a financial model and I have this complicated looking formula here. And as a beginner to the spreadsheet world, I'm not exactly sure what it means. So I can go back to the Chrome extension here. I can select explain a formula. I can paste it in here and it'll give me a description in plain English. More specifically, um, it can also give you a description in plain Spanish or French or Russian or Arabic or German. Uh, it's not just plain English. So it can handle inputs uh, and outputs standardized in six languages. In the rare event that this is going to be inaccurate, you can flag it as inaccurate and it'll train a data set that eventually can be used to complement the outputs that we have here, which are currently through GPT. Finally, and most exciting for me, because I can never remember how to write functions myself, um, you can use GPT Sheets to write functions from plain English or from plain Spanish or, um, or any other language. So, for example, I can say, AI, please write a Google Sheets formula that multiplies cells A3 and H10, uh, checks if the sum is output is greater than 55. If so, returns true. If not, returns false. And it'll go ahead and generate the formula for you right there. You can then copy it uh, and then use it anywhere you'd like. So this was a quick overview of GPT Sheets. Please feel free to sign up. This is a free trial. And if you have any feedback, don't hesitate to reach out.